Hello everyone, I'm Argon Witch and today is something a little different. Today I want to talk about uh, my impressions on the uh, photos that Netflix released of Cowboy Bebop. Never mind, okay, I'm sorry. I'd use the music if it didn't give me copyright to try. <laughs> but anyways, um, so in case you didn't know, Bebop is one of my top favorites. I think it's in my top five favorite animes of all time, and I've seen it a hundred thousand million times. Look, if you haven't seen Bebop, oh my god, go watch it. It's pretty good. Although, granted, people tend to hype it up a little bit too much, but it's still, it's a really good anime series. So I want to talk about, um, the pictures that they released. We have uh, three character pictures and uh, three set pieces and then like a group shot. Well, I, maybe like four set pieces. Uh, so John Cho plays Spike Spiegel, okay? And, and we're gonna just go down the list. We're gonna go Spike, Jet, and Faye because they're the only ones we've seen. Um, now I have an issue with... <laughs> <laughs> I have an issue with the casting. I have an issue with almost all of the casting. Ayn is is such a cute little little pupper over there, adorable. I have an issue with Ayn too. But anyway, <laughs> I know everyone's like, oh, Ayn's perfect. Everyone else like, no, no, no. Even Ayn's technically not perfect. They're just overlooking it because it's a cute little pupper dog. But Ayn wasn't a puppy. Ayn was a full grown, kind of getting in there on age dog. He was the wise dog. He was the older wise dog. <laughs> Anyways, so let's talk about uh, John Cho as Spike Spiegel and why I don't like John Cho as Spike Spiegel here. I don't. I'm not saying he wouldn't do a good job. He might do an excellent job, and his acting have has better be top fucking notch because all he looks like is some random dude at a convention playing Spike Spiegel, and not even the best Spike Spiegel. I've seen some good fucking Spike Spiegel cosplayers before. But he just looks like John Cho in Spike's outfit. Like, if, if if he wasn't wearing that outfit, if he was wearing, like, um, the janitor outfit that Spike wears in the movie, um, you would not know what fucking character he is. He doesn't give off uh, Spike Spiegel. Like, he doesn't feel like Spike Spiegel. He looks like John Cho doing a mediocre cosplay. And... That is where I kind of have an issue with it. I, there were actors who did have, like, the overall look of Spike Spiegel. Um, they weren't Asian, but I don't think Asian really matters for Spike because he is technically Martian. Uh, I have no issue with him being... I'm going to assume Cho is Chinese. Because they do have... Um, Spike takes a lot of influence from, I want to say, Bruce Lee and Lupin. Having him Asian, not, not an issue. I don't give a fuck about that. Him not looking like Spike Spiegel is where I have the issue. <laughs> I mean, look, maybe it's a nitpick, okay? But, like, he was very iconic looking. He had this big, fluffy hair, and, and here he just looks like... A bad wig, maybe, or he just grew his hair out. It reminds me of Markiplier when he grew his hair out during COVID. <laughs> he probably would have made a better Spike Spiegel. <laughs> but I mean, for that, that's that's my my biggest gripe. He does have kind of the linkiness of Spike, and there is one action scene where he's in, and I'm just like, is um, yeah, that's a thing. Um, he does have the shoe size down, though, because Spike always had these, like, really elongated shoes. They were very... Hmm. I don't know. Alright, um, so, uh, uh, there's not too much I can really talk much more about, because I haven't seen, like, any action scenes. No, no clips are out yet. Uh, the next one is, uh, Jet. If he, this dude was walking around a co uh, convention center in this outfit, I would not know who he was off but, like, when you break it down into closer looks, I guess it does have a bit more of, uh, jet style. They got his facial hair down a little bit. Like, if they kind of, like, really exaggerated that and if they shined up that thing under his eye, because at first I thought it was just, um, it was just a scar. And he's also missing the scar over his eye. Because, you know, Jet was kind of like a hardened looking dude. And he was like a big dude. And this guy doesn't really kind of have that... Mm, He's a, he's a big dude, don't get me wrong, but I guess I'm thinking kind of more of, like, 
who's the actor who played Cable in Deadpool? Uh, uh, J John, Josh, uh, Bro Brolin. Oh, Josh Brolin. Oh, yes, like him or, um, yeah. One, you sit there and, like, take, like, look at various pieces of this. You're like, oh, yeah, that, that could be Jet. Yeah, I guess I could see that as Jet. I kind of miss the almost iconic way that his beard was, like, shaped. It was, like, all over the place, and... Yeah. And he wasn't completely bald. He did have that, like, wraparound <laughs> receding hairline. <laughs> but, you know, besides that, it's fine. We doesn't need to look exactly like the character. We just need to name the character. <laughs> yeah, so that that's that's my thoughts on... Jet. And now let's talk about Faye because this is my biggest fucking issue with the casting. It's not even the casting. I'm sure she's fine. I don't know anything about her. I don't know who she is. But it's the outfit. If she was walking around a convention hall, I wouldn't know who the fuck she was. If she was walking around anywhere, I wouldn't know that she was trying to be Faye Valentine. She doesn't look like Faye Valentine. They, they covered her up a bit. So she's not as revealing or as, like, sexy. So she's more, like, badass. And under any other circumstance, I would be okay with this. Because I think sexualizing characters for the sake of being eye candy for guys is fucking stupid. Faye Valentine, on the other hand, she knows sex sells. She purposely uses that to her advantage. She is often using her body to distract people. She, like, her being dressed like Faye Valentine kind of, you know skanky <laughs> with like unbuttoned short shorts and like her boobs being pushed up and out uh, of her top as much as possible this fits Faye Valentine because Faye Valentine uses her body to get what she wants so like and I know in animes they sometimes they over sexualize characters for the sake of it for eye candy for um fan service that's not what Faye is. I mean, she is fan servicey, but her character in its whole, like, it makes sense for her character as its whole. Like, if you think of, uh, Yuko from, uh, Gurren Lagann, there's no point for her to dress in that outfit. That is fan service. It's not because of the climate, because no one else dresses like that in the climate. It's not because it's tactically advantageous, because it's not. It's just there for fan service. And she doesn't use her body to try to get what she wants most of the time. Um, in fact, she's often seen, like, upset when the guys are being overly, like, gropey, you know? <clears throat> so, that's fan service. Faye Valentine, that was her character. Like, that is important to her character. And they've removed that from this character. This design here, she is covered from head to toe. There's almost no skin showing. She doesn't exude sexiness. She exudes badass, which Faye is, but it just doesn't feel Faye. I don't like this at all. This is... You're missing the point of the character. I know, Netflix, you didn't want to piss off feminists, but you gotta understand, that was Faye's character. That was who she was. You, were, you have removed the essence of who the fuck Faye Valentine is. I know, it's kind of nitpicky. Look, these things are very nitpicky, and who knows, maybe it'll be a good series. I just want to talk about the set pieces real quick, because there's a few of them. There's one there in an alley, can't tell much about the alley, it's just wet and grimy, and it kind of just, it looks wet and grimy. Um, there's one where they're all sitting on a couch together, and I guess this is a set piece, you'd call it, and it has, like, the nice yellow couch, actually, like, the ribbed couch, it does have, it's very fitting. I know in the original, it was just solid chunks, but this is fitting, and it's got, the, you know, a carpet, it's got all the diesel, uh, sci-fi diesel punk shit in the background where it's just random wires and stuff, and yeah, it looks good. It's a good character grouping set piece. Um, I don't know, it feels like the Bebop, it literally looks like it's just a set that anyone can walk on and sit down and take a picture on. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes that happens. Uh, the other one is you get the interior of the Bebop. And it looks good. It looks like something you'd see on, like, the Bebop. Or in, or in a warehouse somewhere. <laughs> um, and then the last one is the church, because apparently Vicious is in here. Uh, which is, yay, Vicious. 
Um, and the church looks good, and I hope they have green birds playing because la 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 la. Look, when I told you I was a fan of the show, I'm a fan of the show. I love this show. I love the music of this show. It's fucking amazing. I think they're keeping the original music, and good on them. Because if they didn't, I think a lot of people would be definitely very pissed off, is all I'm saying. It's all I'm saying! They're gonna be pissed off! Look, I don't want to judge casting too hard based on just, like, who they are or what they look like on their, like, their day-to-day. -day. But when they're in costume, that's when I feel like you can start judging. Like, if it doesn't look like your character, if it doesn't have that essence. Like, again, John Cho just looks like John Cho trying to cosplay as he was given 10 minutes to go into the Goodwill and pick out some clothes, and he did, and that's what he came out with. And <laughs> um, I think Faye Valentine kind of missed the mark when they said, because play as Faye Valentine, she's like, like this? And they're like, nah, not like that. <laughs> uh, and I think Jet probably has the closest to looking like Jet. Anyways, that's my two cents on this goddamn thing. I will probably watch it because I'll have a mighty need to watch it because I need to see how much they're going to destroy my childhood, if you will. Um, but yeah, you be the judge yourself. Maybe you love the casting. Maybe you think it's fantastic. Maybe you don't. Maybe you agree with me. Uh, let me know down below what you think. And also, what's your thoughts on the fact that they don't have Ed here? They have... Iron and they have Faye and they have Jet and they have Spike, but there's no Ed! Where's Ed? We need Edward! Ah! Edward! <laughs> um, yeah, alright, that's just my opinion on this. This wasn't really a salty witch. I suppose it could have been a salty witch because I was pretty salty about it, but. Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, and if you like me reviewing just like shit like this, let me know. I. I'm okay doing this without <laughs> Welcome to do it again. Uh, okay. Uh, bye! I